Hi, trigger warning. I'm about to defend Thundercat's roar, so be warned. Andrew, and this is Gaty's Toys. The last time we tackled Thundercats on MI-80s, ladies, we actually went for the Lunatacks. This time we're going to go a different faction with the Warrior Maidens, who, uniquely enough to this whole series, is all women. Specifically, however, we're going to go for the real representatives of that faction, and that would be Willa and her younger sister, Nada. Willa, Nada, and the Warrior Maidens as a whole came from the 1985 cartoon, where they were sort of isolationist tree people who, you know, lived far, far away from all the other dangers of Third Earth. Uh, truly, you know, very, very defensive, almost to a point of xenophobia. Uh, they were introduced quite early in Episode 5 and sort of, you know, went on throughout the entire series right till the bitter end. Willa was the oldest uh, of the two sisters, and she was the leader of these tree people who lived in essentially Ewok villages. Uh, she was known for being a great archer. She could do so even, you know, with her eyes closed. Um, very skilled as a warrior, uh, very much protective uh, of her people uh, to a point of suspicion. So she and Lino sort of butted heads a little bit early on. Eventually they would you know, come to respect each other, but uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, she was very hesitant to engage with the rest of Third Earth. Her younger sister, Nada, on the other hand, while still, you know, very much the isolationist mood of the entire group, uh, probably a little friendlier, a little more optimistic, a little more eager to, you know, uh, interact with the rest of the denizens of Third Earth. The Warrior Maidens were, I mean, they were named appropriately. They were sort of, you know, it's supposed to be the kind of Amazons of the plot, but they were essentially supermodels in furry underwear. Very much kind of an old Wonder Woman kind of throwback where everyone's just, you know, effortlessly gorgeous with super long legs. For them, and this is my opinion, it was a lot more tell than show. So we were told they were great warriors. We rarely saw it. And, you know, Lionel and Willa may have had some respect for each other, but you have to bear in mind, too, these two were, you know, not exactly beacons of leadership. They were both sort of stubborn and inexperienced in their own ways. So, you know, it was the blind leading the blind. Likewise, there was an episode that the entire, you know, feature of it was that the mutants were in their castle plunder complaining about the food and the mess they made. Uh, and they were like, we need women to cook and clean for us. And so they went for the warrior women. Like, he went for feral people who live in the woods to go take care of you. Like, I mean, times are desperate, but also, like, that's how little respect these women got. That ickiness aside, uh, they were never, to my knowledge, to my research, even considered for the original LJN toy line. Uh, by the time the sh series was starting to wrap up, it seemed they were kind of going in the Lunatacs direction. As we mentioned in the last video, they started with Red Eye, the Lunatacs vehicle was sort of rebranded, but still inserted into the line, or tried to anyway. Um, Warrior Maidens, you know, they were amongst a lot of other denizens of Third Earth that certainly could have been made a toy, but there was, there was a lot. There was quite a bit that they, you know, never got around to, and I think they would have been pretty low on the scratching pole. Um, that said, I mean, I do praise LJN for giving us, you know, unabashedly all the women we needed. They gave us Jutara, they gave us a little PVC of uh, Wily Kit with Jutara. Well, the kid got her own action figure afterwards. We got Burble Bell. We got Pumaira. I mean, they weren't, you know, skimping on it. But I mean, when it comes to, you know, fun chicks and Thundercats, there's better options than the Warrior Women. One other thing of note of the Warrior Maiden specifically is that because they looked incredibly human, they did sort of add fuel to a fire of fan theories about what Third Earth specifically was. A lot of people thought it might be Earth from the past, or Earth from a post-apocalyptic future. They thought humanity left Earth and settled here. And again, same circumstance. This has never been definitively said, but the fact that there are women who look very human, there's Hachiman, there's definitely like human or humanoid-ish people who live there, or maybe even are from there. It's certainly interesting, and it's certainly something that, you know, some other cartoons have neglected. Thundercats as a whole has not fared well since its original showing, which granted was very successful. Just to get it out of the way right away, I mean, even I think two weeks ago, there was a movie studio saying, you know, we're developing a Thundercats movie. They say this every few years. They've been saying this every couple years since probably the early 2000s. 
By and large, most people agree this is simply the studio saying, we want to retain the rights, so we're going to announce to Variety that we're going to be making the movie, or at least, you know, attach some people to it so that we're working on it with no plans to release it, because it costs some money. The first real attempt at a Thundercats reboot was in earnest. I have to give them credit for this. In 2011, the Cartoon Network launched a cartoon series. Bandai launched a pretty ambitious toy line. It was certainly Thundercatsy. They sort of took away the, you know, Superman Krypton exploding kind of angle for it and had it more sort of all based on New Third Earth. And, you know, the Thundercats were forced out of their home on the run. Um, it definitely tried to expand the lore in ways that, say, the 2000X He-Man series did. It was, you know, in retrospect, interesting. In retrospect, they made some great choices. And in retrospect, we've seen the full plan from the creators of the, the show. They had a very long, intricate, uh, very interpersonal drama kind of, you know, setup going. So, like, it could have been good. But as we well know now, any change at all to a property by the original fans is met with seething hatred. And that it was. And we were robbed of something that could have been very great. Likewise, the toys made a good, a good go. Um, at the same time, Bandai had done a Thundercats Classics line, one of the first. Um, it was a very tall Lion-O and Mumra, and then a very short Lion-O and Tigra. Like, they kind of changed scales midway through. This thing did not go long enough for, you know, the Warrior Maidens to show up as. Likewise, as I mentioned, humans were, you know, around in the original series. They were noticeably absent in the 2011 series, so Warrior Maidens were not on the table, as far as we know. The next attempt at a cartoon was called Thundercats War, which everyone absolutely loved. Look, the show was going for a Steven Universe meets Titan, Teen Titans Go meets, you know, all the other animation at the time. It was lighthearted, very lighthearted. Aimed for kids, not the, necessarily the original fans. I mean, I think the creator uh, genuinely had a big heart and wanted the original fans to like it. He, <laughs> he did not learn lessons from 2011. Uh, likewise, there was no toys from this for obvious reasons. However, the Warrior Maidens did make an appearance, and this is where things got awesome. Unlike, you know, the tree-dwelling babes of yore, uh, this Thundercats War Warrior Maidens were gigantos, just big, boisterous, mega-tall monster femmes, and they were so feral and wild. They were very much a cross of New Frontier Wonder Woman with, say, you know, Samurai Jacks, the Scotsman. I mean, just just crazy. Absolutely crazy. And it's it's such a fun role to see women in, which is such a strange thing to say, but, you know, this kind of style of character is usually reserved for men. It's, it's you know, women are not supposed to be ugly like that. And it was, you know, admittedly pretty fun of them to really embrace the Amazon origins of the Warrior Maidens. And frankly, this is my preferred version. Like, sorry about it. Back to the toys, I would say easily the most successful toy line since the original 80s line has been Thundercats Ultimates by Super 7. Currently, they've really kind of finally blasted through all the main cast and they're starting to really whittle down to, you know, the side characters uh, who have been present throughout the entire line. But in 2023, Willa did finally get her first action figure form. Uh, she looks great. It's a little basic, but that's kind of the design's fault. Nada has yet to be made. Um, I would assume there will be some part sharing, so she might be coming soon. On that note, my last video was about Chilla and Luna, and in that video I said, you know, well, Chilla's shipping now, possibly they'll put Luna on pre-order someday in the future, and wouldn't you know it, three days later, Brian Flynn's like, hey, here's your Luna. Which, you know, good, but it was also a personal attack that, you know, hey, your video is crap and already updated, so. Yeah. Yeah. By that logic, NATO will be coming any day now, so you're welcome. Also, Thundercats has been sort of delving into some army builders, like the Reptile Warrior, or some Thundarian guards, so I wouldn't be surprised if someday in the future, certainly not anytime soon, but if they were to do, you know, head swappy, part swappy, warrior maiden army builders. That'd be kind of a fun idea too. I wouldn't, you know, bet on it. There's quite a large cast they still need to get to and we'll see how much likes this line still has now that the main characters are done. But it's possible and, you know, you know me, would be welcome. And that's it for Willa, Nada, 
warrior maidens. Big feral beasts or supermodels in furry underwear. I mean, they've had a bit of a history. They've only had one toy to date, but we'll see what the future brings. As such, thank you for watching. If you like this video, perhaps like the video, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things, and I will see you next time on MIA 80s Ladies.